And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Tom's Cold Cuts. That's what we're going to be calling this deck. We're going to be playing Tom Kench with a bunch of frost Frostbite <laughs> and also with Ash. So let's try to say Frostbite and Ash together. Um, so yeah, we're going to be playing like a Frozen uh, Tom Kench deck. And uh, so, you know, Tom Kench is going to be eating a bunch of units, hopefully, you know, with the acquired taste. And so we are thought about calling this deck like some frozen dinners kind of thing, but you know, we'll go with Tom's Cold Cuts. That's, that's what we're gonna go with for our name. So basically that's the plan, is to be able to Frostbite, lots of stuff. We have Harsh Winds, Flash Freeze, Troll Chant can reduce power, and Brittle Steel. So all those things to be able to Frostbite. And if we get them to like zero power, then it's a lot easier for Tom Kench to be uh, capturing them. Because of course the opponent's unit is good, good like, it does strike Tom Kench whenever it captures, so if it has zero power, then it strikes, then that's easy for us to deal with. Uh, we also have Rhyme Thing Wolf that can be able to uh, kill zero power units whenever it strikes it. So those are just both really good combinations with Ash. Uh, we also have some Salvage in here for some other card draw, but then besides that, just a lot of Freljord cards. Other support with, like, Ice Veil vale Archer, um, Avros and Trapper just being a nice, uh, just a, a pretty good nice card. Same with Omen Hawk. Um, you know, maybe Omen Hawk makes your Tom Kench just a little bit bigger. Maybe Hearthguard does that. Um, that kind of stuff. And then just for late game, uh, besides card drawing, if we need it, we got one Howling Abyss in here, which is just a super, super powerful card. Um, it can just start creating random level two champions for us. So if we're playing against like a, another deck that has a lot of interaction and we're going towards a late game, we could just have this Howling Abyss hopefully take over for us. So just one copy of that. All right, so let's see how this deck does. We're going to go play five games over and ranked, hopefully a little better than our last one, our Vladimir Soraka. It didn't work out as well as I hoped. Cool meal. All right, Twisted Fate Swain. Let's see. I could see not keeping either Ash. Honestly, we're gonna mulligan them both. This is not the best Ash matchup where it, you know, has the only three health for four mana. It's not necessarily bad, you know, like we have Elixir of Iron too, but I just kind of felt like I'd, I'd want to see what else we could have. Like I wanted to have like Omen Hawk and Averroes in the Sentry to be able to lead off the game with. I uh, did not find those cards though. Especially like Omen Hawk would have been quite good. Early Sentry, and <laughs> couldn't have showed up last turn. Alright, Frost by that thing and block it. On in Sentry. House bottom. Yeah, we'll just go with the Salvage also. Spend our mana instead of not using it. Now, the thing about doing that is, you know, not holding up any kind of protection. Now they maybe use some of their mana. Okay, they still didn't use any of the mana. So they uh, had two mana there that they did not use. They could have. All right, we're gonna have them waste five mana where I only waste one mana. Them good. Our strength is yours. It's a good Avros and Hearthguard draw. Man, they are really not doing much. Having the 5-5s five start taking damage does just help out. Our will lead the way. Maybe we just attack. Like it just helps out like their ravenous flocks and cards like that.
which I assume that's what they're sitting on is just like a bunch of Leviathans, Riptide Rex, um, and Ravenous Flocks. No Ravenous Flock here, huh? All right, so gonna try to have um, our Rhyme Thing Wolf kill that thing. Dark in the skies. Damn, we're already down to eight. Okay to have my 3-2 die so we get the extra room for our other enraged yeti. They walked around. Mm. Yeah, that's a problem. Were true. So I guess that just kills us, right? Because that puts us down to five, and then the other one kills us. How do we take so much damage? Yeah, I mean, we just go down to two and then and then just pass turn and then that, that kills us. That didn't even kill like the Averrosen sentry. Hmm. My total went down very fast there. Ooh, Twisted Fizz. This could be just a bunch of elusives. So our Frostbite spells are going to be much more important here. Last game, Frostbite spells weren't valuable. Um, so I like this. We honestly may not really need Elixir of Iron. Let's actually mulligan that. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, I'm not playing Outriders in here because we already have the two four-mana units with our two champions. And I just I just didn't really want to play more than six four-mana units. Um, because I, I just feel like at that point you're just going to get hands that are going to be just clogged with... You know, like once you start playing seven, eight, nine, four mana units, you're gonna have two, three, four of them in hand at some points, and I just don't want to have that on my curve. So I was, I was originally making this an Outriders deck, but um, with that, kind of decided against it. Um, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe we need a. Uh, yeah, maybe we need to do a better job of drawing our champions. Did not do a good job of that last game. Ooh. Yeah, I guess it's just play Ash, but I kind of want to play that in Rage Eddie. Um, so I, I wouldn't swap Salvage for Outriders. Salvage is, can be something that helps give you a better late game. Still definitely worth it. From our side. Yeah, it's true. Tom Kench is definitely going to be a big strength in our deck. And so not having that card is not ideal. Border from here. The homestead. Okay, I was gonna say probably blocking the three three, but I'll take that too. Because assuming they'll use a spell, keep their thing alive, but then hopefully now we'll be able to brittle steal this moving forward.
<laughs> Eat Braum with Tom. A Braum and Tom deck. That could be a cool deck. Yeah, my man, we just just answered that question just a little bit ago, actually. But I'm not playing the Allegiance for Freljord card because it's a it's another four mana unit, and we already have six four mana units with Ash and Tom Kench, and I didn't want to have another one. So this turn, I could be playing like the Howling Abyss, and then a Brittle Steel and an Acquired Taste. Getting some frozen dinner here. Thomas eating some cold cuts. All right, what do we get? Level two champion. Something cool. A fizz. Let us peruse this establishment fair. I guess we could peruse this establishment fair. I suppose we could do that. So the question is, you know, like, do I want to be pl playing units and just replacing these Averroes and Sentries or not? I kind of feel like that answer is not. Fly away while you can. So they're willing to not block two of these and have a pump spell kill them? Yes, you can replace landmarks on a full bench. So yes, I could, I could have replaced the landmark. That would be an option. Ooh. No, I'm not gonna keep the Yeti alive. We're gonna need we're gonna need some more space. I'm gonna I'll just let that happen. Um I want to eat that slippery wave rider. And I guess we'll just be blocking it. Excuse my impertinence. I will unite the frail yard. Ooh, you leveled up Swain. I'm sure there's something for my kids. I like that Bayou brunch. So basically my my Fizz gets to level up. Or sorry, sorry, my Fizz gets to block. Sorry, not level up. My Fizz gets to block one of these things. Battle Fury. So we're, are we dead to Battle Fury? Yeah, we're kinda dead to Battle Fury. Yep, that's the card we're dead to. Because this is going to be uh, ally number three, so Tom Kench will level up, spit Ash back out. Cool, no Battle Fury. That's good. By snow and stars. All shall drown in my magnificence! Tom Kench is a little slow with the animations. Little slow. I'm going to go this route, kind of assuming they're going to play another spell. They play another spell, then Fizz levels up, and then I Brittle Steal the Fizz afterwards. Okay, no other, no other spell for now. All 
Alright, let's eat this lounging lizard and then play Rhymefang Wolf. If you had your chance to walk away. If we get a Rillian Soul with a Howling Landmark, or the Howling Abyss, we could play a Rillian Soul next turn. But we get Lux. Lux could be cool. Where there's a will, there's a uh, I just don't have the two extra spell mana to be able to, you know, like I have six mana of spells in hand to go along with Lux. The for the We're gonna be going with this Swain. All right, so I frostbite that, frostbite that, challenge that. Let's do this. Let's let's do this first. Wait, where are you at? You're at three out of five. Oh, maybe we should have done. Okay. Maybe I should have done this, but oh well. Still a removal spell. Okay. We're going to have you attack first. And then you, 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 you challenge here, you brittle steel there, you frostbite there. They can't do any blocking right now. No, because like the. These things can't block, so I'm not going to pull them. Because they're at four. They have to use, like, pump spells on them to make them block. Like, the Vladimir... Or, like, sorry, the Swain... The Swain is also fearsome. And then, you know, can do, like, three damage to all these things. As well. But, it, like, if they take the damage from the Swain, they're dead anyway. This is... This is going to be difficult for my opponent to navigate. Not impossible. All right. Can't do it. We're 2-0. Oh, wait. 1-1. One one. Didn't we lose the first one? I have it written down as 1-0. Oh. Didn't we lose it? Yeah, I just I couldn't play another game <laughs> with that one, Grace Claw. This is probably going to be pretty cool. Two great 5-mana champions with regeneration. Let's see. Um... I could see keeping all these, honestly. Let's see keeping all this. So we got our spells in hand. 15 spells in the deck, so 12 more. Um, so hopefully we start drawing some units. Okay, that's still, that's a good, if we're gonna draw a spell, that's the best one to draw. And that's one of the best units to draw. All right, good draws. Trundle Garen. All right, just gonna have them waste their turn three instead of me doing four damage. Wow. They're willing to just waste turn four also. All right, I'm not that willing to just waste turn four. I did think right after I played that Avros and Sentry, I was like, I guess this could be an Avalanche deck. <laughs> right after I played that. For justice, for uh, Vladimir was very. Vladimir was good. Vladimir was not the problem in our Vladimir Soraka deck. The problem was Soraka and the landmark. They just did literally nothing, like like actual nothing. Our banner will lead the way. I don't know, that's scary. Could go back to my turn. Give me a better attack. What's the problem with playing Tom Kench here? 
double concerted strike? Like one concerted strike. I mean, I guess if you, if you say so. What is their deck doing? I wish I had another way to frostbite this in case of, like, uh, Fury of the North. Um, thankfully, they cannot Fury of the North and Judgment. Can't do that. This has been a very weird game. Just don't know what... Just don't really know what they're going to have going on in their hand over there. I'm just not sure. Whoa, we got a brand new Tier 1 sub with the Meddler. Thankfully, we have those meddling kids. <laughs> Thanks, meddler. I appreciate that. We fight for those who cannot. Cannot. Many tribes under one banner. He's a meddler, not a peddler. This is our homeland. Is this worth it? No, not really. Right, because then they just have any spell whatsoever. Ready the torches. Let's block with this thing. Light the signal fires. Draw a new card. Free up another spot for Rhyme Fang Wolf. Where there's a will, there's a meal. There we go. That was a good block. Now we have Salvage's turn. I like it. That's so how you change your Discord name to that. Oh. Meddler, not a peddler. Perfect. We still have five mana. We fight for one Freljord. Okay. Fighting for a Freljord. We do what is right. I don't think there's like instant speed overwhelm. I don't think. Maybe we should have just taken that six. Appetizers of plenty. My comestibles are getting. River always provides. Please don't have judgment. They look angry. Ugh, that's not a good sign. They are a harsh wind stack. <laughs> really? Okay, well. Yeah, I was more worried about, like, uh, you know, like a pump spell, like Fury of the North or Repost plus Judgment. But yeah, we could try to you know, use Troll Chant to Minus and this kind of stuff, so wouldn't necessarily be the worst for me. Fortunately, I don't have... If I had one more mana, right, we could play the Tom Kench and the Acquired Taste together. Stand and defend. This is our home! Stand and defend. Should have used Brittle Steel while I could. That was a mistake on me. I shouldn't have used Troll Chant there. I should have used Brittle Steel. Salute. 
Love that. So probably casting the harsh winds. This turn. We'll put Thomas in play so Thomas can create the acquired taste. For next turn. And then, you know, having our six mana for harsh winds. Like, what does their deck do? Does their deck just play, like, sp just spells in these two champions? <laughs> That's all we've seen. We've not really seen them do anything. And I'm kind of confused. Remembrance. All right, that's a an additional card that can't attack and block. So now they're a Remembrance deck, too. Oh, I don't require a menu. I will unite the Freljord. Well, I guess that, that I guess they do gain life with that thing striking. So my plan is to play Brittle Steel on their Ice Pillar, and then that will give Ash four out of five, and then attack with Ash. Um, Now, obviously, we get to just Brittle Steel this instead. And then Frostbite that. Not let them block. That worked out quite well. Very strange game. Avros and Hearthguard is just pretty cool, though. <laughs> Making everything so big. Playing against another Ash deck. Looks like Zombie Ash. So they're going to be trying to reanimate Ash and get a bunch of them. And like cast Harrowing. All of that kind of stuff. We're going to mulligan the Trapper with having this kind of curve. I like these cards together. I'm not going to play just Icefield Archer as a 3-1 on turn 2. So if they don't have anything to Frostbite, I'm not playing it. We'll just wait on it. But we're going to play you know Wolf into Ash. Do y'all really? Do y'all seem to get a lot of mirror matches in this game? It does. Doesn't it feel like the, um, just like their algorithm? Yeah, you know, like we play an Ash deck, so we play against an Ash deck. It doesn't that just seem like how it, it happens in this game? Lady Elise, where are you? How good is Rhymefang? Is the question. I would say eight. No, 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 no. Rhymefang is vulnerable with just two health for three mana. Not a ton. All right, draw the troll chant. I want to have the extra spell mana available for troll chant to protect these things. But also quite powerful when able to work. Yeah, it does, right? Like, like one of the regions, like one similar region, yeah. Get a lot of those kind of pairings. That's what it feels like. Oh. We could peruse this establishment fair. Not and ready. Well, I have to frostbite their Rhyme Fang Wolf, so their Rhyme Fang Wolf can't kill my Rhyme Fang Wolf. I must get out of here. So this was not the ideal uh, situation for me for this turn, spending just two mana. Like, 
life isn't always ideal. that plus and minus. So our Ash is at two as far as leveling up is concerned. Yes, two. I like keeping the backup Ash in hand just in case. Now, do need to... Do we need to worry about Ruination? We probably need to worry about Ruination. As far as playing Thomas is concerned. I must get out of here. So Tommy only attacks for two. Um, Trapper does attack for more. It's like if we're, if we're going for like lethal of like going for 20 damage. Trapper's not enough anyway. Okay, and they have that thing, so yeah, we wouldn't really be able to get there anyway. Yeah. I'm sure there's something for my taste. Leaping into action. Mm. If it's a fight they want. If I let this damage happen, we're, you know, trading two for three. Taking out my four mana champion, we're taking out their five mana champion. Obviously, I have some cards that can stop that. Could just keep the other Ash in hand and... Because, like, I feel like if I play, like, Frostbite card, then they play Frostbite card right afterwards. Doesn't it feel like that? I think I actually just want... I think I'll just let this happen. That was also pretty bad of me not challenging this first, but... Um, did not hurt us. Nothing escapes my watch. Well, that makes me feel pretty silly for not using the Flash Freeze to save Ash now. I cannot eat the Rhyming Wolf because if I do that and then they frostbite my Tom Kench, my Tom Kench dies. I will unite the Frail Yard. Where there's a will, there's a meal. Where there's a will, there's a meal. Tom is a demon of gluttony, you say. I really need to use this one. There's the ruination. Not the best for me. Many tribes under one banner. So Ash will be leveled up. This is looking good on their side right now. 
That was good ruination. I'm just gonna pass turn. I'm not sure if it like it doesn't make any sense to attack with Ash. I'm not sure if it makes sense to play Ash or not. Tough spot. Get to play everything in hand. I don't know if there's like any specific order that I'm supposed to be playing them. I will unite the frail yard. can't just attack with everything since they level up their Thresh, right? Is it possible to let them keep Ash? I mean, well, maybe I just attack with everything like this? This has to be a win for them from here, right? Feels that way. I mean, maybe they don't have like harsh, you know, I guess they would need like harsh winds and stuff like that. Okay, that draws another Ash. I do have that card. Maybe stop them, but yeah, they just go right to attacks. Because all I ne all they need is just me not to be able to block with everything. You know, I'm I'm at, I'm at one, so I guess leveling up the Ash was was just death. They're just doing the same kind of thing that we're doing, but a little bit better as far as Ash is concerned. So GG's, we're going to be better against uh, some different decks than what they are, but they got a good mirror match here, because I can't block with all these things. Oh, wait. We can block with all these things, because they, they mess it up. They could have just gone for the win, and they didn't. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't just kill me. They even have yeah, because they have even more frostbite stuff. Like why did they why did they just not kill me? They should know what card I just drew. Could not have stopped them. But we have a chance now. We have a real chance. 
We're gonna need okay. we're gonna need another unit that can do some more power, right? Like we have to be able to do more than 13 damage. Or well more than 12 damage. We each died, then found hope. Mm, that doesn't help. A gift from Avarosa. Ice Phil Archer. Another wolf. We burn, then kindle a new. Double rekindler, a little rough. Avarosans, stand together. A little rough. Today we fight as one. Join the conflagration. Come from the dark. So yeah, as you saw there, their deck is much better at going with all the frostbite stuff and everything. Much better at that. But I think I like our matchup here maybe a little bit more. Now, this hand isn't so good because we need units, but Brittle Steel is pretty clutch whenever we do have units. Cool. Pretty clutch in the attacking and blocking portion of the game. They'll never see it coming. would have definitely been the, you know, would have been the absolute best card, but no Omen Hawk. So we'll just have to go with our other two, three, four, five with the one mana for Brittle Steel. Fortune favors the bold. Patience. So I don't like to I don't like the attack and, and ask for the trade because then they get to do damage to me. Um This is just not It's just not good. I mean I guess I guess I just have to block with sentry. I'm gonna block with sentry later. So where are we going with this game? Which champion are we playing? Um, Ash is going to be attacking more. Tom Kench will be something they can use for removal for misfortune better. All the world on one arrow. We'll put all the world on one arrow. This is lit. Legion Grenadier is such a beating. All right. In Avarosa's name. Try me. I guess we'll, I just hope they don't have Gangplank. Because you know, we're just helping their Gangplank level up with this Grenadier. Man, that card's such a beating. Okay, so now we'll play Thomas and Enraged Yeti. We'll see what we get here. I may not mind just like the Rhyming Wolf Omen Hawk Enraged Yeti turn. Alright, well that card is never going to be played. I also like Avaros and Hearthguard. I've been propagating quite the appetite. Who's angry for action, eh? Oh, I am Jack. I am. Mm. I'm sure there's something for my tastes. Not looking good. My 
They had a very good hand with the attack token turn one, turn three, turn five. This game worked out quite well for them. Joke to bait. This may need to be playing Rhyming Wolf instead of the Avaros and Trapper to challenge Jack. Yeah, it just doesn't matter what we do. Had to try to challenge Jack. This just won't do. But I don't think that really matters. I don't think that we had much of a chance. Good hand. Those Legion Grenadiers were good, but obviously Misfortune. Um, yeah, just that's pretty strong. You know, going one drop, two drop, Misfortune. Uh, difficult to beat whenever you followed up with all that Nexus damage. Um, so our deck was okay. I didn't, yeah, I didn't, I didn't uh, really mind this one too much. It was okay. The, yeah, so we went two and three, but like the, the zombie ash matchup, that's going to be pretty rough. I don't really imagine playing against that matchup too often. I didn't feel like our deck was that bad. Um, yeah, so then, and then our other two losses. Yeah, our other two losses were to Twisted Fate Swain and to Pirate Burn. You know, just two, two very tuned and very great decks that you know we all know are, are very great and, and everything and so you know like we're still you know trying out some new cards and trying trying uh some new stuff and so yeah we lost to the the you know the best decks i think that's noxus bilgewater is still the best um you know that's just kind of what it what it came down to i, th I think our, our deck felt felt okay though um you have to you have to play like absolute. You have to like have them stum stumble a little bit, and you play absolutely perfectly, and all that kind of stuff. I think it felt pretty good. I, you know, I want some more practice with it. It's the thing is like I'm, I'm not playing like these new these new cards absolutely perfectly because you know we just haven't you know just don't have the experience yet with it. You know, I just want to get more games in. I don't think that that uh, Bilgewater Noxus like I wouldn't say that like Bilgewater Noxus is is a bad matchup. I would say that Bilgewater Noxus right now. Like those two decks, I would say that they are just better tuned and, and just better decks overall. And I would say that they're better decks than you know anything else in the formats. So like no matter what we what we play, but I think that that this deck has a lot of potential, and that you know we should probably be playing you know maybe playing like a little bit more Bilgewater or something or you know maybe something else you know like like there's some potential here, but I just kind of have to like get used to it, get used to the numbers, uh, know how to play, all that kind of stuff. But um, I like it. I like Tom's Gold Cuts. Uh, like that last hand, if, if we had Omen Hawk turn one, like honestly, we, we may have just won that game if we would have just had Omen Hawk. Like if you would have just replaced any card in our hand with Omen Hawk, um, especially like the our top end card, you know, like our five mana card with Omen Hawk that last game, that that probably could have been a win for us. if we just, Because like that Legion Grenadier dealt tons and tons of damage to us that if we would have had Omen Hawk to block it right away, it wouldn't it would not have. That could have been the difference between winning and losing for sure. All right. So anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments. I always appreciate those comments and we'll try to get back to you. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.